Hello, I'm Alex Buxton with Allen West and SCO, and we both work for Zions Bank Public Finance. This video is a continuation of our series giving individuals who have some familiarity with fixed income securities a little more understanding with a behind the scenes look at municipal bonds. Today we're talking about the different types of bond sales. Alan, give us a rundown of the different ways bonds are sold. Sure, Alex. So once a municipality decides it needs to borrow money for a project, it has to decide on how it's gonna find those investors that are gonna buy their investments. Who's gonna lend them the money? And so there's really two ways that they do that. Once they get their bond rating and they, they have their structure, they have to decide uh, how they're gonna pick their underwriter. And the underwriter is the person who is kind of the in-between person who is working for the municipality that's issuing the bonds and uh, identifying who the investors are who are gonna buy those bonds. You almost could kinda uh, liken it to uh, selling the bonds to a wholesaler, which would be the underwriter, and then turning around and selling at retail to that's the right. end investor. That's right. In fact, I think to part use of the kind reason, of a clothing analogy. There. No, that's right. In fact, I think it's kind of you know, one of the reasons they call them an underwriter is because they're underwriting the risk, right? Right. You're buying. They're buying all the bonds and they're placing with investors. And, and and in some ways, you know, you don't care who the end investors are, right? You just want to get the best rate you can in the best terms. And so the question is, how are you going to get the best rate in the best terms? And it depends on the type of bond issue. But essentially, there's two ways to pick that underwriter. The first way is through what we call a negotiated sell, where you actually pick your underwriter up front. And, and the underwriter is a financial institution that has broad access to these investors. Right. And you can do that either uh, by just working with someone who you have some familiarity with, or you can go through an RFP process and, and ask people to give you suggestions and you can pick someone through that kind of process. Or alternatively, you can choose to have what we call a competitive bond sale or, or auction, a bond auction, where you pick a day and a time and you let all the different uh, investment banks and underwriters submit bids on that day on uh, on the, the price of what those bonds are going to be that they're willing to buy them at. So so let's look at the reasons why uh, an issuer may choose to do a competitive sale as opposed to a negotiated sale. I think you could summarize it with three points. First and foremost, uh, what kind of bond is it and is there a story behind the bond? If it's a general, we call them kind of vanilla type bonds, straightforward, I think a competitive sale is probably uh, more conducive to that. If there is a story behind it, uh, uh, the bonds, there's a different structure or something like that, a negotiated sale might be uh, more to your liking. Uh, secondly, flexibility on timing. Um, with a competitive sale, if you have to get your bonds sold, regardless of interest rate environment and so forth, um, then, then you go with the competitive sale knowing that you're going to get the best bid uh, that day from various underwriters. If you're a little more flexible with, uh, with your uh, timing, a negotiated sale might work, maybe like a refunding type sure. bond, which we talked about before on this program. Um, and lastly, I think that uh, structure-wise, if, if there's a specific structure you're after, maybe you work with the negotiated underwriter up front, Whereas with the competitive sale, again, you, you kind of get what you get, but you know that you're getting the best uh, interest rate that day that you sell bonds. That's right. And I think another way to look at that and that analysis is just trying to ask, is this a really strong credit that we're going to have a lot of interest and a lot of investors in? Or is it something that maybe is a little bit more difficult to find investors for? Well, thank uh, you so much, Alan. Uh, we've been talking about bond sales today. Uh, thanks for joining us.